Hi good people it's Susan here from the Spicy Boudoir and I thought today that I would actually do my makeup on screen I've done it before but I want to explain what I'm doing and what products I'm using. I'm one of those people who has a, um, a mishmash of brands in their makeup kit. I like Revlon lipsticks and I'm a big fan of wearing red colours I think you might know that by now um, and I'm also a huge fan of two fantastic Australian companies who have developed a range of cosmetics for um, older women, that's Rageism, and the wonderful Iridus Cosmetics as well, who um, are fabulous at doing bridal and uh, their glamtorials, which I've actually received one before, which was fabulous. With the wonderful Peter Gay so hello Peter Gay so I'll just let's I've started with my canvas I've put down moisturizer I've also um, I don't know if that's gonna work use the Iridus cosmetic facial oil I'm gonna worry about holding up products um, <clears throat> I swear by that and I know that rages and have a facial oil as well which I'm gonna try once I finish mine um, one product I absolutely swear by, and I'm so grateful for Peter Gay for putting me onto this. This is their um, primer for the eyes and lips. And I've had this little bottle for a year now, and it's still going, still works. Um, you can use a brush, but um, I always use a finger. You pretty much just put that much on and uh, over the lid straight out and of course I've got some under my nail so perhaps I will have to transfer onto a brush and then I'll just put the remainder over my uh, lips and um, just let it I just let it set for a couple of seconds I'll just grab a tissue I've already done my eyebrows and um, they're in a need, need of a trim I actually haven't had them done for well over a year so they're holding out pretty well um, but all I've used in my eyebrows is just from the chemist um, a little um, you know brush with a spoolie filled in the, the gaps now so while that's um, drying I now going to apply some pri illuminating primer from Rageism and I'm not going to bother holding up the tube basically now um, Iridus also have a fabulous primer it's a silicon based one which I've been using and uh, I love the value that you get because again that product I've had for a year and I've only just got down to the bottom of the bottle so okay so you can see what I really like about Rageism's primer is you can see that that shimmer straight away and you can see in my skin I've got a lot of sun damage um, I'm puffy as well under my eyes. I, I don't bother uh, putting on anything to reduce the puffiness. Oh, I'm beautiful enough as it is. And um, yeah, so I like my, my skin can get quite dry. And um, I find this particular primer, it looks hydrated despite maybe being dry. So, okay. So now let's go with the Rageism foundation and um, they're very generous if, if you're new to their product they actually allowed me to um, get some samples so I don't know if that's their general um, rule but it was so advantageous particularly when you're buying online and you can't go into a store to find your shade so I'm very grateful to the ladies at Rageism Catherine for sending me samples Okay, so I probably have put on a little bit too much, but 
I always just use my hands and get right in get under the jawline right out when I first tried this product I was just absolutely amazed that it just melted into my skin and disappeared I find with other foundations they tend to just sit on top whereas this one it becomes one with your skin so as you can see that's really evened out um, the skin damage and the coloring in my skin okay so let's put the lid on that now to I'm going to apologize to all the professional makeup artists out there um, this is how I do mine it's probably not you're probably going to groan when you watch me doing this but it works and uh, I haven't had any complaints but I'm certainly happy to take feedback okay so again um, now I've got rageism uh, oh, the bloody camera gosh just a little pot of shadow it's a beautiful cream it's got um, it just sits beautifully it melts into your skin and I find sitting on top of that um, the, the uh, what do you call it the primer from Iridis it doesn't go anywhere it stays there all day which is what I'm after so I just get yeah, oops a little bit on my finger and um, I go through my crease and up and out I try to leave that area of my lash of my eyelid blank and you'll see why in a minute so I'm sorry looks like I'm giving you all the finger <laughs> so I'm going on television soon online so I'll need to practice my makeup for the screen so I don't want to look washed out so it's hard to tell so you can see that's just basically covered that zone and I know that there's a number for that zone but I just can't recall so now and this is where you know my little hodge mishmash of um, makeup items I'm just going to take um, a uh, an angled brush and go along my lash line just clean that brush a bit I'm going to go with the heavy dark black because I know that that's what I'm going to need when I go on to television so just across there oops I'll clean that up uh, and I always do that bit there so there I try to follow the builder's principle of measure twice, cut once. So before I start extending this, I'm going to just do my lash line and blend it out before then looking to see if it needs to come up into my um, uh, crease. So let's have a look. So using my blender, I wouldn't have a clue what brush number that is, but... Or how my technique stacks up with everyone else's. I really just want to give it some definition. And this is actually my nighttime look as well. For daytime, I would just make this um, a, another a brown or a grey charcoal colour. With my eyes, they. Some days they're brown, some days they're green, some days they're hazel. So it just all depends on, I guess, my mood um, and the light that I'm standing in. Okay, so I could probably get away with it like that, but I'm going to give a little bit more definition into my crease. So I'm just going to use the residual that's on my brush. I'm not going to worry about loading it up again.
Now I look at makeup, I've been watching a lot of um, you know, content online lately with my makeup. <clears throat> I don't do makeup to make myself look younger. I do it to enhance my natural beauty. And I never used to think I was beautiful. And uh, I'll probably start tearing up. But I'm just putting together a pictorial of my life over the last 20 years and how embracing my sexual energy has has been the the key or the secret and it shouldn't be a secret but it's been the key to tapping into who I really am and allowing myself to step into my own light so I hope to bring that to you very soon um, it's a matter of me um, you know fossicking back through my photographs and finding those cringeworthy pictures of me 20 years ago and um, and making them public but you'll see what I mean okay all right so I'm sort of happy with that at the moment um, I'm going to put on some lash and again this is a different product this one is from the States it's called Thrive um, it's a vegan based formula and it's got um, lash you know you can build up the fibers to make them longer so I won't probably do the whole um, the whole lot this time but I'm just going to I always struggle putting on mascara and I tend to sneeze too after I've done it so and then I get a dirty big lash stamp on my eyelid and cheek Ooh, looking gorgeous all right so um was my blush 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 here we go i love my local chemist five bucks you couldn't beat that it's revlon for five dollars and it's got blush lipstick and eyeshadow so it's like hello you're going with me so now, apologies if I'm doing this wrong. This um, seems to work for me. Uh, let me fix my camera up. I seem to be busting out of angle. There we go. And put my mirror. There we go. Okay. So I do do the smile. Okay. And I'm not doing any shading today. I don't do the whole kit and caboodle of um, contouring. Actually, uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you what I do. Hang on. And I don't think it's um, any big drama. It's... Uh, oh, okay, I don't have the usual brush. But basically, it's um, another Revlon contouring kit. And um, this is not the brush that I would normally use. But basically, I would just do this. Just get my darker one, polish it in there and there, and maybe a little bit across the top, and then a little bit of highlighter, and um, I, I get really frustrated when I see women who look like they've stuck their nose in a flower, and they've got all that glowing gold pollen on their nose it drives me nuts so okay I'm just looking for my lip liner don't always do this but um, if I'm going out doing something special I will but just for day to day I don't usually bother so you can see um, you can see the base from the um, primer from Iridus and I'll just do just sharpen this and it broke so I feel it's uh, broken on the inside somehow which is not good and oh, there we go okay and my lipstick you'll see it, it gets a fair bit of bit, bit of use I normally wear Revlon certainly red but this one is um, 725 um, that red it's called I think so and I can hang on let's do this I'm not gonna look at the mirror I'll look at the camera and 
that my friends is what I have learned to do in the nightclub is put on lipstick without looking in a mirror and someone asked me once how can you do that and I said well it's my lips I know they're on my face I know where they are so there you go that is me Susan the Maven with her makeup routine and I'll just give you it's not a confession but I'll just give you an, a little um, insight into how I feel about my beauty all my life I have lived with facial hair okay and I've had to deal with it since I was about 16 so having a few whiskers on my chin and a mo doesn't impact on me anymore I have a great sex life I get out there and I put myself out there and I don't give a fuck about having facial hair and neither should you okay so if you take away anything today is just live your life and don't worry about those small or little petty things about bum size facial hair dimples wrinkles just embrace you as you are and uh, and maybe start exploring your sexuality you'll find that there's um, lots and lots of joy to discover okay thanks for tuning in I would love for you to follow me if you like I'm Susan the Maven from the Spicy Boudoir.